thing we're going to look at next is randomise and fractals. And I have to tell you that I understand one of these things and the other one not so much. So let's go and look at page 33. Here's randomise. So again, graphics window but get random colour. So this is a new thing. It's not telling you to get a particular colour. It's just getting, you know, a random colour. And again, get random number. So let's have a look at this. So this code, they think, will produce this picture. So basically it's choosing a circle of a particular size. Um, let's go through the code. So setting the background to that size. Interesting, it doesn't say how big the window is. Um, telling it to run it a thousand times. Brush color set random. Uh, get random number up to 640. Get random number up to 480. And fill an ellipse ash. This random number, that random number, 10 by 10, is how big the ellipse is going to be. So those um, little circles are going to be, um, gee, I've got a bit blank there, are going to be 10 by 10 pixels, and that looks about right. So we'll just fire up the compiler, and we'll have a look at it, and then we'll make some changes. So just waiting for that to load up. Perhaps this would be a good time to tell you about when I brought a um, pumpkin farm in Portugal. Because Portugal, as you know, is quite famous. There we go. So, we drop the code in there. Uh, and we run it. And there you go. Now that actually, we saw it run a thousand times there. It actually went very quickly, but it wasn't all there at once because it has a th had a thousand actions to do. So I think the first thing we might do is actually change it to 5,000 actions and let's make those um, dots a bit smaller. So 5 by 5 and let's run it again. Oh there we go. Alright, let's tweak it again. Let's say that top value can be 1,000 and that top value can be 700 for instance. And let's see what it does. I'm wondering how it knows how big to make the window but let's have a look and see. It did seem to know to make that window bigger. That's interesting. That's something to have a look at. Here's something else we can do. So, in, as well as setting X and Y, I'm actually going to set um, X, Y, Z. So I'm going to set A and B. A equals... Gee, the computer's a little bit sluggish here. It's just disappointing. A equals math. Get random get random number now I'm going to make it up to say 15 and then I'm going to have B because what I'm actually doing is making up some random numbers for how big the dots are so math get random get random get random number yeah let's call that 15 as well Okay, so instead of making it 5 by 5, I'm going to make it A and B. So, these will be random sizes. They'll still be ellipses, but they'll be randomly wide and tall. So let's have a look at it. And let's run it, bump it back down to a 1,000, I think. I don't want to overwhelm things here. And let's have a look. Okay, so there you go. So we've got a different kind of effect there. Uh, what I might do is actually run that and actually give those the chance to be a bit bigger. 50 and 50. See if we can actually get a kind of splotchy, a pleasant splotchy effect. Oh, there you go. It's funny, it doesn't look random, but I guess that's what random is. It doesn't look like it's got a pattern to it. So anyhow, so that's the first thing that I'm going to save. So I'll just pop that over into a file while we're, um, while we're working. So where are we? We're on... Um, we're on 16, which is random, um, random and fractals, and we'll just pop in there and save my random code. And now let's have a look at the fractals. Now the fractals are very much where my understanding starts to break down. I'm sure somebody could explain this to you. I'm just not sure. I I'm certain that I'm not that person. So I'm actually not going to tell you what this is going to do. I'm going to show you what it does. Because um, there's no way known I can, um, that I would expect you to guess this. So what happens... So we paste the code in and let's run it. So as you can see, it is slowly building up 
triangles within triangles within triangles. Now, I don't know how it knows to do that. Uh, it's not an equilateral triangle. I'm not exactly sure what triangle that is. I know that we're setting the color green. If you look down here, I know we've set the background. We've set X and Y at 100. We're getting random numbers. Uh, we're telling it that X and Y, X times Y will equal 150. And X times U, oh sorry, U times Y will equal 30. And then I've got a bunch of other things. So I'm presuming that all of this tells it only to make things in a triangle. But um, I'd be very impressed if one of you could get this fractal um, program to create something different, like a square or a circle or something. And not by Googling it, but by actually solving it. Because I have to say, this whole fractal game is doing my head in. So please have a go and let me know what you can manage.